This is JSA TV Live, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Dean Perrine coming to you live on site at MetroConnect 2023, and I'm here with Mr. Ken Parent. Ken is the CEO of Element Critical. Ken, welcome to JSA TV. Hey, thanks for having me. It's great to be here. You bet, you bet. Um, so uh, for our viewers that don't already know, why don't you tell them a little bit about Element Critical? Sure. Well, we're a company that we were formed about 2016, middle of the year. Um, we're a co-location provider. We own and operate our own data centers across the country. We're presently, uh, we have six data centers in five markets, um, two of them in Chicago. So that's that's the six on five uh, math mm -hmm. and looking to continue to grow. But we, um, we basically play in that space and folks, uh, hybrid IT stack, we uh, provide the best uh, in-class uh, co-location um, product that we can. Um, with, with with a certain amount of services to go along with it, kind of the requisite services mm -hmm. that you would have with co-location. Mm -hmm. So we're not high up the stack. We're not really bottom of the stack. We're, we're somewhat, somewhat in the middle. So uh, you must be doing something right, because mm -hmm. uh, I know, uh, based on some, uh, some research that I did uh, prior to this interview, that you've had uh, some pretty historical growth over the mm -hmm. last, you know, 12 to 18 months. Why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about that growth, um, why the... You know, why did that happen? Well, it, it happened because I can hi hire smarter people than myself. So <laughs> Very, very smart answer <laughs> I mean, yeah, to that question. Yeah, um, <laughs> well, it happened for a, a number of different reasons. And frankly, the last year that we had the, the um, we saw, we, we were leasing into to, to more ver verticals. We were able to mm -hmm. do a couple of hyperscale deals, uh, which was the first time the company has done that. Frankly, the growth that we saw last year probably eclipsed the last three or four years combined. Mm -hmm. I think we we're up 122% quarter over quarter. 85 percent or so um for the full year so in terms of actual sales activity it was it was phenomenal and we we you know we've reconstituted the company in a certain in a certain way we have a new c-suite that we've brought in over the last two years we brought in some great sales leadership a new cro steve weaver he's brought in some new folks uh brought in a new mindset and i think that's been a lot of it you know frankly yeah. it has been a good year for a lot of people yeah. um, but i don't think they've achieved quite the numbers that we have so you know, just the fact that good product, good market, now team that can really execute. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's the internal infrastructure that we build as well. It's not just a sales organization, but as we know, it's, you know, it, everybody sales in a company like ours, right? So yeah. it's the people on the ground, it's the, the quality of the technicians, the technical staff, it's it's everybody, it's the responsiveness. So I think it's, uh, I think the name is getting out there. People know who we are. We continue to continue to grow, be a viable entity. And uh, it's 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 really all about the team, about the product, and being in, and being in the right markets. No, outstanding. Uh, I'm familiar with uh, Steve Weaver, good guy. I'm glad mm -hmm. he's a part of uh, the, your team over there at Element. Um, you recently announced a partnership with Megaport. They've been around for sure. for a long, long time. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that partnership and how it ultimately benefits your customers? Well, um, uh, everybody knows in this space, uh, interconnection is a big part of the game. Mm -hmm. Right, so we have data, all of our data centers have fairly robust uh, interconnection. A lot of carriers coming into our meet me rooms, connecting them to the outside world. Obviously a big part of the sort of table stakes if you're gonna be sure. a, 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 you know, a good co-location provider. What Megaport does is, is takes that and really uh, puts that connectivity on steroids. It allows you to basically virtualize every meet me room that Megaport already exists in through their mm -hmm. network. So it's a big out there, so allow them to, to really capitalize on you know kind of the infrastructure that they've built up and gives us a cloud on ramp uh, effectively in all of our data centers that where we may not have one today so today yeah. i think they're all in but they're coming into all of our data centers are not quite there yet but uh we we intend to have them in all of our data centers in the short run and they're in a, at least two or three right now outstanding and yeah, great. So, so it allows our customers yeah. i mean basically the, 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 the finish the question it allows our customers to access their network yeah. and be anywhere that they need to be uh, that they can't get through our own network which is Fairly robust, as I mm -hmm. said. Yeah, a great, uh, great partnership to have. Absolutely, there with Megaport. Um, so um, I'm going to ask you to take out the crystal ball now. Why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about what they might be able to expect from uh, Element Critical over the next, you know, year or even even two years from now? Acquisitions, anything, any of the good dirt that you can uh, drop on us now? Yeah, well, strategically, um, growing is kind of gets me up in the morning. So mm -hmm. uh, it's it's something that I really enjoy being very involved with uh, acquiring M and A activity. Um, it's that there's a little bit of a lull right now in the market because of the capital markets disruption. So a lot of people are out there selling, mm -hmm. um, but we still seem to have built up a really good pipeline, been able to do that through marketed and non-marketed deals. Frankly, most of the data centers I bought my 10, 11 year career have been non-marketed. So we built up a good network to be able to do that. And we have the capital to execute. 
we're under contract right now for one of the Midwest. So yeah, you never can say never or that, that it's done until it's really done. You sign, sure. but we're under diligence. So we expect to announce something in the next uh, two to three months there. And uh, basically, to answer your question, I think we'll double the size of the footprint in the next two or three years. So if we have six assets today in five markets, I expect to double that uh, within three years, um, certainly in that time frame for sure. Um, and then the next year or two, um, add another you know three or four. Uh, assets and markets into the portfolio. No, I love it. Those are lo lofty goals. But if anything has been proven over the last, uh, again, 12 to 18 months, it's that you can achieve those goals. So congratulations. Yeah. Thank uh, you. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Thanks for being with us. We appreciate it. It's a pleasure. You Glad got it. You here. got it. And thank you viewers for watching JSA TV. We'll see you soon.